I've been asked to make a demo video for a device that I build and sell on eBay and also on my own JM Precision website. It's a fairly simple device and uh, no this is not it. Um, this is Dataman uh, EEPROM programmer. It supports over a hundred thousand devices, costs well over a thousand pounds and there are different versions of this um, programmer. There are different manufacturers that produce different programmers like this. But one thing they all seem to have in common is they will not test simple devices such as this. Um, this is a 4116 DRAM. You'll find it in things such as the PETS computer. A lot of vintage computers use chips like this. Um, but unfortunately programmers like this despite their expense, will not test DRAMs uh, of this type. Uh, I have actually been in touch with the manufacturer to see if they could add it to one of the uh, lists of devices they support. One of the things you get when you buy something like this is, in theory, uh, support from the manufacturer where if you have a device that you need support for, they will add it to the list of support and then you can upload a file um, to allow you to test or program those devices. Uh, but unfortunately it can't handle something like this. Uh, being a DRAM it's quite complex to drive anyway but the older DRAMs tend to be triple supply so they need a plus 12 volt supply, a minus 5 volt supply and a plus 5 volt supply and of course uh, very specific timing requirements. So devices like this that have universal pin drivers can't handle that because they can't generate the uh, timing signals that are required. So despite having five or six programmers I didn't have one that would test the DRAM chips and I do tend to need to test them quite a lot because I restore a lot of vintage equipment. So because of that I ended up producing this. It's a fairly simple device but it's intended to allow a very easy testing of these DRAMs. Uh, as I say, I've been selling them for a while and somebody's asked me to do a quick demonstration as to uh, how they work. It's very simple, you just apply 20 to 24 volts DC, so it's a single supply in. The required um, three supply uh, voltages are generated on board. Uh, the socket is a, a safe mode socket, so when you're not testing, all power is removed from the socket, so it's safe to add an um, take out chips while it's powered up and uh, you just simply press the button you'll see it running through each bank as it tests and the green light comes on to tell you that it's uh, it's a working chip I've got some faulty chips here and it's obviously very apparent when the chips fail another faulty one It's very quick and easy to test them and then you put the working one back in and you can see it's fine. It normally tests them at 200 nanoseconds access time and that's what the chips are nominally um, rated at um, but you can actually use this device to test them at 100 nanoseconds. Uh, some devices you get are supposed to run at 100 but as they get old they tend to start failing to run fast enough and you get weird faults on the equipment that you're trying to test. So to test it at uh, 100 nanoseconds you just push the button, hold it in, wait till the red light comes on, release it and it will then go through the test. As you can see this device fails that particular test, it just can't respond quickly enough. Um, but that feature is quite useful if you do need to look for specific high speed devices. Okay, that's it. As I say, I sell these on uh, eBay and on the JM website. 